It was during our Democracy Partners investigation that Robert Creamer led us to Media Matters in Washington, D.C. This is Media Matters over there. Oh, Happy cool. And, uh, wow, that's cool. Media Matters calls itself a web-based, non-for-profit, progressive research and information center. Media Matters has been going after me for years. They've called me a hack, a liar, a convict. They're actually bankrolled by George Soros. They say they're pursuing truth, but then they brag about ruining people's careers. Uh, at the time, it, it, we did different uh, sort of pressure point campaigns to get uh, notable conservative voices off. So like Lou Dobbs on CNN left, now he's on Fox Business, and Glenn Beck, Alpha Fox. Media Matters President Bradley Baychock gave our journalist a tour of their offices. Research and then, uh, we have an investigative team, a media reporter. Uh, we track a lot of events by conservative authors and that sort of thing. Baychok proudly boasted about the Media Matters assault on conservative writer and political consultant Roger Stone. So I think for Trump, our, our big role as a media watchdog has been to take his MVPs and put them on the sidelines. So the first one was Roger Stone. Um, I didn't know that is a freaking nutcase. Um, so we led the campaign to, uh, we tracked every book appearance that he did. We, uh, we took everything that was crazy in his book and made sure that people knew that it was sourced even in crazy material. Uh, we parsed out his tweets by each, uh, by each ethnicity group or like attack that it was, whether it was on minorities or LGBT folks or immigrants. And we published that with each network. We reached out privately to the networks and said, hey, are you aware you have had this guy on 12 times in the last uh, four months? And he said these th three things about all of these different uh, anchors that you have on air or people that are, work for your organization. And ultimately, we got him banned from Fox, uh, from MSNBC, CNN, and he hadn't been on Fox in four months. So it's like we try to take the MVPs off the sidelines. We thought it might be interesting to show the tape to Mr. Stone and get his reaction. Take MVPs off the sidelines. So, Roger, what's your reaction to those comments from the Media Matters president? Censorship. You see, when they can't refute what you have to say on any issue-based basis, they resort to name-calling, racist, bigot, fanatic, so on, uh, deplorable. Uh, and then they, they try to high-pressure the old media to uh, destroy your, your media access. Are they successful in doing this? Are they successful in blackballing people, blackballing people well, like certainly, you? Certainly in the case uh, of the mainstream media, yes. But um, the viewers that I reach at Infowars.com, for example, or in any half dozen of alternative media sites or my own broadcasts at Stone Cold Truth or my podcasts, they no longer can have the kind of across-the-board media blackout. David Brock uh, is a former conservative um, who went over to the dark side, presumably for money, has run this vituperative, nasty campaign vilifying me. If you go up on Twitter, you have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of trolls repeating falsehoods about me or distorting things that I have read or said. These are Hillary's attack dogs. Media Matters for America. And by the way, you should go to our website, mediashmattersforamerica.com, and you can see where we deconstruct them. Um, these groups are the, are the cutting edge, mostly financed by George Soros. Uh, these are the bully boys. These, this is where the, the dirty tricks are dreamed up and executed. We invited Stone to our office, but before we could show him the footage, we had a scheduled interview with Alex Jones, and I joined him. I tell you, James O'Keefe doesn't want the credit. He wants to beat these people, but here he is joining us via Skype uh, with Mr. Stone. And Media Matters didn't miss a beat. Before we even finished talking, they had put up the Alex Jones interview on their website. Sure, so let me ask you both. What happens if they steal it in front of God and country? Uh, James and then Roger. So if you have 50 or 100 million people in this country who have no one to speak for them, What's going to happen to those people? I think that's a, that's a powerful movement of people. David Brock and Media Matters tries to intimidate us and force us to the sidelines, but it won't work because we have their playbook and nothing is more powerful than Veritas.